All right, well, she came in the shed, so it's kind of dark. You can hear panting and grunting because she's pushing. And you can see she's pooping up back here. It's going to come out here in a minute or two. Yeah, see, she's pushing. She's pushing. I wish she would have done it outside where there's a little bit better lighting. This is kind of too bright and too dark, but oh well. What are you going to do? It happens where it happens. She's got some mucus and she's poofy and she's pushing. Once the goat starts actively pushing like this, it should take no longer than about 15 minutes, 20 tops. If it's taking that long and she's not really making any progress, that means something's wrong and she needs help. And if she has multiples, they should be no more than 15 or 20 minutes apart. It shouldn't be any, you know, hour or so. It should be pretty, pretty quick. You can do it, Mama. It's okay. Good girl. Grunting and pushing. Nothing quite yet. I'm going to pause this video because, like I said, I don't know how much space I have on the phone. So... I will resume when something starts coming out. It should be very soon. All right. It hasn't been very long. Maybe maybe five minutes. She's been pushing pretty continuously and pooping a little bit. As you can see, we're about to have a baby. And her level of discomfort has increased. She's not a happy camper right now. She's taking a rest. Come on, you can do it. He's almost there. I know, I feel for you. Don't mind me, I'm just taping down here. She is typically a little quicker giving birth so I'm thinking this is probably a, a big one or she's got two. She has only ever had one before. Elijah thinks she's gonna have two though so we're gonna find out. They come one at a time now. There we go. Look it's almost there. Pause it. I'm going to pause it for a minute. Okay. I only paused it for like a whole 30 seconds because she's pushing now. Come on, you're almost there. There's a chicken out there. Thinks I'm in her nest box. She insists on laying an egg in the goat shed every day. I know, Mama. You're tired. So, once she uh, once she has this baby, I'm gonna go inside and fix a bowl of um, lukewarm water with molasses in it, and that will hydrate her and give her a little boost of energy after this, cause she'll be tired. And they always love that. They suck it right down. They love their molasses water. There you go. And the water broke. I'm sure you probably saw that. Good girl. Keep going. You're almost there. I know. What's the matter? She said, where's my molasses water? You're not done yet, and I need to film this. Finish up. Finish up. She's still dribbling water there. Taking a little break. 
It should come pretty quickly now. I guess I will pause because I don't want to run out of space right before the moment. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, so she has taken a five-minute break here. Got up, tried to pee, turn around, lay down with her butt against the wall. I made her move so I could video what's going on. She got up, she turned around, and put her butt against the wall again. And she's looking a little more fatigued. Yeah, you see that? She's like, oh my goodness. Hopefully, I don't need to help her. She doesn't typically take quite this long. She normally shoots them right out. Yeah, she's pushing again. I was going to say, I'm going to go in the house and go ahead and get her her molasses water, but it looks like we have picked up things again. If she stalls again, I'll get her molasses water and wait another five minutes or so. And if it doesn't pick up, then I may need to feel up in there and see if there is anything going on. So I'm going to pause it for now and I'll be back on and let you know what happened. 